Okay, I just got back from the paint swap meet. More cool stuff for the 63 Impala. Anyway, uh, I went there and I'm going to redo that 327 that came out of the car. I needed a set of pistons for it. They were going to be about $200 for new ones, 30 overbore flat tops. I found a complete set, a nice set that it was hardly even used for 30 bucks. New lifters, new timing chain, brand new camshaft. I needed a glove box lock, and I, lock for this car and I had to buy the whole glove box just to get the lock. And that's that piece of aluminum that goes behind the front license plate that was all bent up. Both the gear shift lever and the turn signal lever are quite rusty on this car and also the uh, mirror stem was all pitted up and I got all those new got the correct mirror for the door rear view mirror for the door so I can get rid of that ugly thing that's on the front fender a couple of tail light lenses and a rear antenna for this one that's broken off also something really neat as time goes on more and more things start working on this car and I noticed when I was getting this stuff out, my lights are working. My dome lights and everything. The trunk light and all that works. It's funny, as time goes on, more and more things are working on this thing. The really neat thing, though, that I bought, like I said, is this Monte Carlo SS. I got a real good deal on it because of that damage, and I've done that type of work before. Like I said, keep in mind, I carved this piece out to put in that some of it in that 63 Impala. I don't know. I may just fix the metal I've got. But I'm not afraid of replacing that much metal on one of these cars. When I found a clean Monte Carlo SS like this, this is a one owner car. Uh, I couldn't believe my eyes. And here it was. It was Saturday afternoon. The car had been there Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday and sat in half the day and nobody had bought it. Surely I'm not the only person at a swap meet that'll do this type of work. Of course, when you know right after I bought it, a lot of people called the man and said, hey, I'll come get it. But it was too late. It was already sold. And they've already chopped out a lot of this, uh, they've already chopped out a lot of the metal. But like I said, it came with a, another Monte Carlo parts car that has a good quarter and door. And I can cut it up however I please to get the metal that I need to fix this. Actually, I was kind of glad that they cut this just to look at it. Uh, it didn't bend the trunk metal, floor, or anything. This car even has an alloy wheel for the spare. It's got all five of the original alloy wheels, and I got the original title to it. I've already driven the car around. It runs and drives really good. I hate that this is done. It's got a front bumper's popped loose down there. I need to knock that back in. It won't take me long to build this car. Um, I'm hoping maybe a, two or three weeks I can get it that quarter and that door put on and painted it and then I'm just gonna paint the door and quarter. And then I'll get back on this 63 Chevrolet now that I bought all these parts. I'm really excited about uh, staying on that. My wife totaled out her car uh, about a month ago and I was kinda needing to get her a replacement. I showed her that Monte Carlo SS and she likes it so Maybe it was a good thing that I bought it. If, I know it was a good thing. Anyway, stay tuned. <laughs> you'll, you'll see me build a 327 motor and put a quarter panel on a Monte Carlo SS. I'll show you how it's done.